The Philadelphia DA is taking some heat tonight from Philadelphia police, not because of something that was said, but because of something that wasn't said. Live at the Criminal Justice Center is Action News reporter Dan Cuellar. And Dan, the discord between the FOP and the DA's office continues. That's right, Jim. The former Philadelphia police officer says he was shocked the guy who shot him had been released from prison and nobody bothered to tell him. He and the FOP blamed the office of DA Larry Krasner, but Krasner begs to differ. It's my belief it was intentional because we would have opposed it. Former officer John Ruane and now treasurer of the Philadelphia FOP says it was back on November 25th of 1997. He and two fellow officers were passing through the 800 block of West Cambria and stumbled onto an execution of rival drug dealers that was planned by this man, Alberto Pagan. We engaged those shooters, which one of them was behind me, I didn't realize. And he shot four times and hit me once in the back in the vest. Fortunately, the bullet got lodged in his bulletproof vest and Ruane was not seriously injured. Pagan was sentenced to serve 22 to 44 years in prison. But unknown to him, he was released back in December after serving the minimum. He very well could have came after my family, myself, and I had no idea. Ruane says he only found out after getting a text message that Pagan had been murdered Monday night in the 3100 block of Byberry Road. I was surprised that I didn't get a courtesy call from the district attorney's office, the parole board, somebody, you know, could have let me know that this guy was being released. In a statement, a spokeswoman for the DA's office states, courts and prisons have jurisdiction over the release of prisoners. The DAO does not. Further, when prisoners are released, victim notifications go out from the state office of victim advocate. But Ruane and FOP President John McNesby blame Krasner. It's been a carnival act since he, since he took over, and we knew this was going to happen. McNesby says this has been happening more and more where victims are not notified of a prisoner's release. Now, we also called and emailed the office of the victim advocate to, for their comments on why former officer Ruane was never notified. We have yet to hear back from them.